Hey, uh, this is Sam Phillips reporting. Uh, the grannies, uh, the raging grannies are going to uh, do an action at the recruiting center. And I believe these gentlemen here are Homeland Security. I don't know what they are to protect us or to harass us or to tap our phones. But, uh, you know, we'll be getting... Uh, yeah, you can do anything you want. You know, there's still a little bit of America left here, you know. And, uh, you know, the raging grannies are going to go in and try to sign up and try to get some of these young people home so they can enjoy their life, you know. And, uh, you know, we're going to report on this story. So uh, this is Sam Phillips reporting for Liberation Blue TV. Hi, sir. Are, are you here to protect us or, uh, or, or arrest us? No, we're not cops. Oh, okay. I was just wondering. We're not cops. All right. We're Oh, Channel 3? Oh, okay. I'll just report. I, cause I don't know what, you know, what home... So we're waiting to see what, what's going to happen here. Oh, okay. All right. Thanks a lot. Well, it's Channel 3, but I don't know if Channel 3 is uh, with us or against us. Uh, okay, ma'am. Uh, 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 what group is the Raging Grannies? Well, we want to bring the troops home. We want to replace the young men who are over there leaving their families behind. And we can do it. I can drive a Humvee. I know how to push a pencil. We can relieve those troops and let the young people come home. Well, uh, thank you very much, and, uh, and, and God bless the Raging Grannies. All right. What God was bless that? the Raging Grannies. Raging Grannies. Raging Grannies. It's a organization, and they appear. Uh, different cities have their own Raging Grannies. They make up their own songs, and they do. Per they dress in crazy hats and, and uh, uh, do... Uh, performances at various protests and things like that. Uh, how long uh, has the gra Raging Granny been raging? Oh gosh, years, I don't know. Does anybody know, know how long the Raging Grannies? They've, they've been around for at least five or six years because I have some friends who are in them in other cities. Yeah, yeah, they're wonderful. Uh, we don't have an active Raging Grannies organization here, but maybe this will help us for, form one. Well, uh, thank you very much. Thank we you. raging. <laughs> Sir, uh, why are you guys closing down because of the Raging Grannies? Oh. Uh, because you're closing down because of the Raging Grannies? Oh, no, this is the reason This is the reason why we serve, so y'all can be able to do stuff like this. So I have no problem with that. Hey, hey, do what you need to do. Thank right on. Hey, brother, man, world peace. And let's arrest Bush. And what about the fact that the Iraqi people aren't getting jobs? Um, it's all being um, given to outside contracts that are getting rich off of off of this. Well, basically, the Iraqi people are lazy, like some American people I know. They don't want to work. They want to get a hand out of America. That's why good American men are over there making real little sandwiches for the American troops. <laughs> well, you have any more questions, reporter, you liberal? I just want to know what you're going to do to make sure that the poor people from New Orleans that want to come back get their properties back and get all the help they need. Well, you know, I, I, I gave them some vouchers. And I tell you, you know, see, you know what? They don't want to work, Merck. You know, like I, like I told them, they were just like the Native Americans. I, I gave them the rockers and I told them to get. <laughs> it works, I'm telling you. I'd rather go for them than have them go. I've already lost one grandchild. And uh, no more. They've got their lives ahead of them. I'm over the hill, so I'll do what you want them to do, or what Bush wants them to do. Hi, this is George W. reporting about a shadowy organization called the Grannies. The Raging Grannies. Oh, now, how long has this terrorist organization been together there, you Raging Grannies? <laughs> what was the question? I don't know. 
What's the question? Well, you know, I'm just very concerned that you're a part of a shadowy organization of raging terrorizing America. <laughs> We're going to terrorize them? Right, terrorize them. See, America, you know, I'm trying to protect you from these, from these terrorists here. See, that's why I'm out here in Lakewood right now, because they're messing with my program. I'm trying to employ stimulus and victory for American people. And these grannies have been throwing in my... <laughs> well, I'm, to <laughs> I'm talking on the smut and, and, and the fog, but it's good stuff for you. Now, getting back to the terrorist organization. Now, you know, um, are you funded by the Kremlin or what? <laughs> What's the upper age limit for recruitment, do you know? Well, uh, I'm going to raise the, uh, the, uh, the from uh, six months all the way to 99 years old. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, well, then we yeah. qualify. Right. Well, you know, we, what we need, we need... Uh, we qualify. I have yeah. a driver's license. I can push a pencil. See, I yeah. like that. Right. Yeah. See, we don't need Social Security no more. What we need yes. is victory in Iraq. Right. And then everybody will get a quart of oil. Could you use quart of oil, ma'am? We have computer skills. Right. Yeah. We, no Working reason why skills. we can't come. You don't have to hire Halliburton. <laughs> well, you know, what, what are you saying? Something about my good friends, Halliburton? Now, you know, Halliburton's a good corporate America. And, you know, and I'll tell you, you know, and I don't like you, Shadow Organization, you raise your granny, you're talking about my good friend, Joey Halliburton. Halliburton. I, in my mind, Halliburton is rather shady, if you don't mind my saying so. Well, you know, Joey Halliburton, he started out back in 1880, his granddaddy did, yeah. running cattle and running drugs up to Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> we could go over there and teach Halliburton how to be honest. You know, that exactly, would... Exactly, yeah. Right. You save know, they the, don't... They, save our taxpayer money. Right. That's right. Well, you know what we're going to do? We're going to cut out welfare, see? And we're going to take all the youngins out there and we're going to send them to Iraq to free the Iraqi people. You know, so we they can have some velvety cheese. You know, they can have a choice between McDonald's or Burger King. <laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is your president. I do. And I'm out here, you know, and I'm very concerned about these lazy <laughs> grannies. Of us? Uh, yeah, I think something's going on. You know, I don't know why they're not open. Well, I think they're they deliberately are ignoring us. That's what they're doing. They don't want to talk to us. I think this is typical. They've done it once before when we've been here. They just closed down. Yeah. Yeah, they did that once before. It's typical. They don't want to. They don't want to talk to us. Maybe that's a back door. Oh, are you ready to be a leader? Well, are you going to be back again? Absolutely. I'll be back. Oh, yeah. As long as this war goes on, we we have to keep after them. They're just, uh, they're doing what they want to do, and people are, are too uh, indifferent. They're indifferent. They're not... Uh, and it's affecting everything right here in the states, you know. Oh, yeah. You know, all our social services are going down, the schools are losing money and they need more money. Jobs are going out of the country. It's we the have work. It's open. It's open down here. Hi, this is your president. Hi, I brought you some recruits, man. Some raging grannies. You know, I know we 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 need men, but we need raging grannies too. So I brought you some some recruits. I can still drive. I, I can push a pencil. I, I can use a computer. They're all so why don't we bring these young people home to be with their families? We might even fright, frighten the insurgents over there, you know? <laughs> so. <laughs> so you should really take us seriously when we're here to offer our services. I understand. Well, in Stanford, you know, we just 
You, you guys are barking up the wrong I hope alley. you do understand. We're here for a purpose. Maybe somebody else would like to enlist us. No? So, uh, so how, how, how's the recruiting going, guys? I, I heard it's all time low, you know? Yeah, we're here to fill the gap. And you're just man ignoring you us. The man is right over here. Oh, can I see the button? In the back here, this is the man in charge. There's George. Yeah, what's going on there? Well, what do you think? If you're the man in charge, can't you do something about this? About what? Letting us enlist. Of course not. Rules are in place. 17 to 34. Well, those are the ones who should be home with their families. <laughs> yeah. I don't mean any harm, but you guys, I don't mind y'all protesting, but you guys want to do it on the outside. Please. Well, we came here for a purpose. We came here to enlist. You want to come outside and, and uh, you do the enlist. paperwork? You qualified to enlist. I don't know why I can't qualify. I feel offended. Well, uh, maybe you can lie like Bush did, and then you can list that way. Right. Okay, so I'm 34. You a sweet lady, but you can't enlist, darling. <laughs> okay, you can't enlist. You know what, I'll give you a hug, though. How about that? <laughs> you can't enlist, though. <laughs> I want more than a hug. <laughs> maybe I, I want to bring the yeah. troops home, and I'm trying to help you. Yeah, we want our, our guys home and our women home. Enough is we enough. don't want our grandchildren to have yeah. yeah, and I don't want my grandchildren to go either. If you want to fight a war, why not fight a war like Johnson did? Fight a war on... Hey, oh, I'm the commander-in-chief here. Now, you want to listen, but you want to listen to your social security check and help me help Halliburton out. You know, I'll tell you, they need money, and I'll tell you, you know, and my friend Dick Cheney shot that lawyer, and that was, that was an accident. He was really shooting that dog. <laughs> What? You can join us 34, 17, 34. I know, but you're refusing me today, so. You're not 34 today, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's younger every year. Me I'll too. be I've back. I've been 25 for a long time, too. I'll be back. <laughs> okay, darling. I was surprised they opened the doors, and they were polite, although they refused, you know, to uh, to take us seriously. I think, and, and they say they have the rules, you know, 34 is uh, is top that you can enlist, but I'm sure. You know, this administration bends all other rules and changes all other rules. I'm sure they could change that. But uh, I'm just surprised they even let us in, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> when I came, they were walking down here, so they knew we were here. But maybe since they thought they were raging granny, grannies, uh, they wouldn't close up today. I don't know. <laughs> Let's move for the raging grannies, ma'am. Well, off the top of my head, I don't know of one, but I'm not giving up for one. So I'm sure that there'll be more raging grannies. And I think there'll be more raging grannies that'll come out on the next one. I don't know what the, what the next move is going to be, but I'm sure we'll come up with something.